Hey guys, it's Arthur again. Today we'll be looking at the second high difficulty quest that released for Holy Knight Gangstar. This will be a level 70 quest in a tall map featuring all the Senri plus Bursho with all range. It seems to have a regular objective. I think there were nine in total, including Bursho, so maybe every single square is filled. I I doubt it'll be as simple as calm clearing everything, but we'll go ahead and bring Christmas Nomad anyways, since maybe they have some conditional defense buffs uh, in some combination of themselves. Okay, so I'm going with Ark and Jormungandr as some calm clears with decent damage that also have some defensive options, and uh, Ark will be helpful along with Christmas Nomad to boost the rates of Miniaki in case he ever needs to attack. But I do believe uh, Miniaki does have some supportive abilities from the back, so that's what I'll be using him on the first turn. Although I don't remember what they exactly are. <laughs> maybe protection, maybe healing, maybe CPU, who knows, we'll find out. And then there is Sandragon and uh, Parent, of course, if things go wrong and they need just one more hit going off. So let us make attempt number one. Oh, it's two phases. Okay. Well, that was my misunderstanding. Maybe everyone will reappear all the Sanri along with uh, Bircho in the last phase. Special resistance again. So it's just the middle column right now that is fine and <laughs> Ark already has their charge. If that's the case, then right now I just need to... Even as such. Don't know what the special resistance is that. Oh, seems they get some damage buffs or various buffs every time they're hit. Oh no, no, it's just whenever the quick one is defeated, they give various stuff. Special resistance. It seems the middle column does not have it. Uh, thankfully. By chance, it seems Jormund Gander has their charge available, and he happens to be magic range in this case. Um, I don't want dark charge, so let's just go ahead and do that. Thankfully, the attack up buff they are receiving isn't as strong as it could be to actually present a threat, but it is stacking. Uh, they are all vulnerable damage, which is good to know. Kind of want to buff them at the same time, but I can't, so I'll just have to trust that Ark will do enough damage in the, their column. <laughs> right, I forgot Ark will just hit everything, not just their own column. <laughs> yeah, that works. Moving on to phase two. Presumptively, yes, all the centimeter back. Uh, they received something. I'm not sure what it was. Um, they also received some sort of status here. Uh, Neko ni... Can't read kanji. So it's something related to HP though. Uh, one square around. Maybe it's some revival status? Can't tell. Um... Let's go ahead and move them up. Unfortunately, this means Ark won't get there. Uh, when it's uh, uh, Nomad, I believe, so is coming on move anyways. Yep, it's a revival effect. It looks like one square around. The pattern here is a bit weird. It seems like the middle column, again, has a vulnerability, or the middle row, rather. But also the top left corner, for some reason. We'll go ahead and uh, move them there, and also have no map in that corner. Yeah, I don't know why that corner is vulnerable. It's a bit weird. Oh, jeez, they're actually doing quite a bit of damage or something. Uh, no one except for Bircho has the special resistance right now. I don't want to do a combination of things, but I don't want to move Ark. Let's give it a try. Uh, there you 
I don't know if evasion will be enough to attack uh, and Nomad. Uh, it looks like Brecher actually receives the attack up as well. And he, does he have a full charge ready? I think he does. Oh, ripping Yaki. This. Not really any reason to move Nomad from Lens since Arc focus goes up. Oh my god. Alright, it's time to do the unthinkable and actually move Arc because they do have some tanking features. Oh, okay, good. There you go. So I don't fully understand the gimmick of that one besides uh, attack the ones that are vulnerable and do not have special resistance, but it did seem like they are also getting more uh, punishing the more turns aren't by because of all the attack up resistances. I don't know if there's any way to circumvent that, but it did seem like you would, as a result, need a mixture of both defense and offense in order to overcome the ramping damage on their part, which is interesting because if you went in this with a team that put all their damage all in first turn and was more vulnerable in later turns, it probably wouldn't have worked out the best. So I'm pretty glad I picked this uh, slightly tankier uh, call of clearing team. With that said, give me the ticket. Uh, all right, let's do this. Yep. Snowbeam, go! 